Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about this story that's coming from our fourth favorite state, ghetto-ass Georgia, okay? So what's going on in ghetto Georgia, you ask? What's going on is that we have a story of these beautiful 15-month-old twins, Ariel and Alana. And basically, the mother, Brielle Harris, her sister had gotten into a really bad accident. So she went down to ATL to go check on her sister, and she left the twins in the care of their father, okay? So she felt like she was doing the right thing by leaving them in the care of their father. He was supposed to be babysitting them. But instead of babysitting them at home, he decided to take the twins on a car ride. Um, he goes into a home to get drunk to turn up. Meanwhile, his twins are in the back seat of this SUV, basically cooking to death. Once again, this stupid ass loser, his name is Asa North, left his twins in the back of an SUV to turn up in somebody's house and get drunk. And by the time he came out, those twins had died. This entire situation is just disgusting and really damn ridiculous. I want you guys to watch both of these news clips. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Breaking news right now, tragedy in Carroll County tonight. Twin toddlers die after being left in a hot car. 11 Alive's Duffy Dixon is live with the details in Carrollton, Duffy. That's right, I'm at the Carrollton Police Department where the father of these children is being interviewed right now. Twin girls, just 15 months old. Now, here's what we know at this point. Uh, the babies, or these toddlers, were in the back seat of a Nissan SUV, and it was parked out in front of a duplex, number 103. Now, someone realized the toddlers were inside the car, still in their car seats, and got them out. When police arrived, they say they were directed behind the duplex to a small baby baby pool. There were some individuals holding the infants uh, in a pool and actually had some ice packs also, uh, what they said, attempting to cool the kids off. It's sad because I have grandchildren and I can't even imagine my grandkids leaving me, and especially under those conditions because it was so hot today. The twins were rushed to the hospital. Sadly, they were pronounced dead there. Police say their mother is now at the hospital awaiting the medical examiner's findings. She was in Atlanta when this all happened. Obviously, this interview with the father and other people who were at that duplex complex, the big question is who was in charge of the children and how long were they in that hot car? Back to you. Oh, it is such a sad story. We've had to report on these stories so many times and it's just heartbreaking. All right, Duffy, thank you. As I've said, so many tragedies we've reported on like this before. Uh, according to the NHTSA, since 1998, more than 559 children across the country have died after being left in hot cars. And right here in Georgia, at least 28 children have died since 95. Local mothers making plans to bury her one-year-old daughters killed in a hot car. The twins died last week after being left in a car for hours, Channel 2's Dave Huddleston talked with the Carroll County mother, and Dave, this is not the first child that she has lost. Craig, unfortunately, it isn't. Brielle Ellis lost a child two years ago, but this latest death, police say, was caused by their own father when he left the 15-month-old twins in a hot car. Hey, when I don't um, see their face in the morning. Brielle Ellis is talking about her 15-month-old twins, Alana and Ariel. Police say they died August 4th when their father, Asa North, left them in a hot car. They were um, the best thing that ever happened to me because I, I lost a little girl in 2014 as well. And um, she was one pound as well, just like them. Ella says the twins were premature and were just starting to really thrive when, for the first time, she let their father care for them while Ellis was with her sister, who was in a horrible car accident. I was with him every day. No one day I left. I just want to tell them sorry. I know God took them to, so I could take care of my sister. My kids didn't have any sense. So I know they're happy. Ellis plans to bury her children Thursday, but. I would appreciate the help for my girls because I don't have it myself. Through the tears, Ellis said she prays there is no more death. They didn't deserve to die like that, um, or to die, period. But I know that they're in heaven. 
The funeral for Thursday is planned in Carrollton. There is a GoFundMe page to help her with the cost. All right, so you guys Go just watched our... that news clip, and I feel so bad for this mother, especially being that she had lost another child previously, and for her to give birth to twins, you know, not only that was almost like God blessing her for the one that she previously lost, you know what I'm saying? And then for the father to be just so irresponsible, I'm to the point where I'm convinced because I've done so many stories like this on my channel over the years. I'm convinced now in 2016, hell, I was convinced in damn 2013, okay? Anybody who's caught leaving a baby in a car is doing it on purpose. I'm convinced that people are not putting their babies in cars to die as a way to get out of paying child support, as a way to get out of parenting for their child. There's been so many stories throughout the years on the news. Every year it's being reported, do not leave your kids in cars. Your kids will die. The heat factor is this. Do not leave your baby in the car. Even every winter now it's being announced. Do not leave your baby in the car. Your child can die of hypothermia. Do not leave your children in the car. How many times does this have to be drilled into a parent's head? It should be common sense. The thing that always pisses me off with these cases is I can bet you nine times out of ten, none of these worthless ass parents ever forgot their cell phone. So you can remember to take your cell phone. You can remember, you know, not to let your cell phone drop, not to leave your cell phone in your car, but you forget your two twin daughters. And it's not like these were newborn babies who were just extremely quiet. You have two daughters. They're 15 months old. So, you know, they're talking and blabbering and, you know, probably saying data and everything else. And you have no problem totally ignoring them and then going into a house to go get pissy drunk. And who knows? He might have been going to the house to go creep with somebody and turn up. Me personally, I feel like he might have left those babies in the car to go creep with some female because think about it. If this was a family member's house or if this was his homeboy's house, why couldn't he bring the twins in there? Why couldn't he bring his kids? None of the family members would say, no, get them twins out of my house. People love twins, okay? So I feel like the only reason why he kept those kids in the car is because he was probably creeping. He's probably trying to creep and go smash some female and he didn't want the female knowing that he had kids so he kept the kids in the car because to me it would make no sense that he would not be able to bring his twins into the residence if it was just a situation where it's just him kicking it and turning up with his friends. I feel like he was creeping. He put getting some ass before his own children. I just find the whole situation just re damn dickless and re damn disgusting, okay? You know, just makes no damn sense. This man should be charged and he should spend the next 25 years in prison. I don't give a shit. These girls are never coming back from this. You know, I feel so bad for this mother. I'm so tired of these worthless ass parents out here leaving their kids in cars. You know, just like a few years ago when I did this story about this stupid ass chick who left her children in a car to go to a little Wayne concert. It's like, what the hell is wrong with people? You know what I'm saying? You guys are valuing the company of other people over your children that you created. It just makes no sense whatsoever. How many more stories we have to do about parents leaving their kids in the cars and shocker, the kids are dying. You know, this man knew what the hell he was doing. And for all we know, he probably didn't want to pay damn child support or some shit. It just makes no sense whatsoever how you can leave your kids in a car like that in the middle of the summer down in hot ass Georgia. Like, come on now. So one thing that's come out that's good from this whole entire tragedy, if we can find anything good in this, is that Tyler Perry has stepped up. He's going to pay the front of world expenses for these twins. He spoke to the mother and it's been announced today that he's going to step up and pay the front of world expenses because she could not afford it. And I don't know if the GoFundMe has raised enough money, but this entire situation is just heartbreaking. I feel so bad for this mother, and that father needs to just rot in jail. You know, I'm just tired of these parents. I don't care if you're a father, if you're a mother. Like I said, to me, it is 2016. If your ass is still leaving your kids in the car during the summer or during the dead of winter, you need to be in jail for the next 20 years because that just shows that you're stupid as hell and you don't deserve to be a parent. Anyways, y'all, that story just pissed me off. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story. Once again, coming from our fourth favorite state, ghetto-ass Georgia. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.